Hey Aaron, my name is Luke, and I've been skateboarding for two years. I can ollie. I can manual off a curb. I can manual that was 72 inches or 6 feet. I can manual 180. I can manual off a kicker ramp. I can manual off a loading dock. The trick that I want to learn is the shove it. These are my attempts. I'm a very big fan. It would mean so much to me if you could look at this video and help me out. All right, Luke, thank you for sending in your skate support and we appreciate all of your video watching and all of your support for Braille and we're gonna help you learn these pop shove it's today. So first off, we look at this slow motion clip and it's really not that bad. You get the full shove it rotation, which is really good. And let's watch this other one just to double check. Uh, you get another good scoop on that. You do have the basic fundamentals down of the pop shove. And luckily, this is a very easy trick, and I think you're close, and I think you'll be able to land it if you just keep practicing. So first off, here's your foot position, and you were pretty spot on. Um, your front foot is kind of in the right under the bolts a little bit, and your back foot is in that back pocket. And your back foot needs to be there, and it's very important that it's there, because your front foot literally does nothing for a pop shove it. Your front foot kind of just sits there and doesn't really do anything. You don't flick, you don't slide, you don't do anything. It just kind of sits there and then catches the board after you do the shove it. Your back foot does literally everything. So when you put it in that back pocket and you give it that scooping motion, that little push down, a little bit of pressure on it, it's gonna cause the board to spin around and do that 180 degree shove it motion. So what I saw when you were doing it is that your front foot wasn't doing anything, which was good, but you were also getting that full 180 shove it rotation. The only problem is that your back foot was kind of just lagging behind and going straight to the ground or kind of getting caught under the board. And I only saw like two or three attempts, so I'm not really sure how often that happens, um, but I could bet that it happens a lot because from my experience learning pop shevets or just shevets in general is that when I did them there was a thought in the back of my head and I was like if I do this shove it and I land it I'm going to slip out and I'm going to fall back and I'm going to die that was my, that was my mentality on it and I know it sounds kind of funny but a lot of people are very afraid to commit to pop shevets so what I think you need to do is just practice doing the shove it and landing only with your front foot and do that a bunch of times just do a shove it land only with your front foot and then bring your back foot straight to the ground and I want you to do that over and over and over until it feels really really comfortable for you and then I want you to do a, a shove it and this is going to be almost harder than actually just landing the trick just do a shove it and then land with only your back foot on the board and keep your front foot on the ground the entire time and then it kind of teaches you how your feet kind of move your muscle memory and it gets you comfortable popping the board, getting the shove it, and doing the, the rotation and the movements with your foot to bring them back to the board. Then once you get really comfortable with those steps, then I just want you to commit 100%. I just want you to get a really good scoop on the board. I want you to lift your back leg up. Your front foot lifts up a little bit, but other than that, it doesn't really do anything. And then just land on that board and roll away from the shove it like a boss. So. I know that was a lot, but there's a few steps that you have to take. But other than that, I think you're really, really close. And once you start practicing those steps and just committing a little bit, I believe that you will go and land this trick. So good luck. Definitely, if you land this trick, post it on Instagram, tag us at Braille Skate, and we will definitely check it out. Um, and thank you again for your support and for watching our videos and being a fan. We really, really appreciate it. And we appreciate all of the skate sports that you guys send in every single day. There are literally thousands and we're trying to get to as many as we can. So other than that, um, this is the second video of the day. So if you guys are still watching at this point, let me know what you think of this later skate sport upload time. Instead of uploading skate sport at the normal 10 a.m. upload time and having that be the main video for a day, what do you guys think of having a skate sport as a secondary video day? So you have a main video with one of us, and then you have a skate sport where you can look for your own skate sport and see if you get featured on the channel. 
So let me know what you think. We might do this a few times a week, but leave a comment below. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, railskateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.